Let me ask you all a pretty simple question. Who is the most underrated character in the Dragon Ball franchise? I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about your answer. Did you think of someone? Odds are you quickly thought about guys like Yamcha, Chaozu, or maybe Yajirobe, right? Well, if you thought of any of those guys, I only have one simple thing to say to you. You fell off. Plus ratio. Plus your life. Plus you're British. Plus who asked. Plus no you. Plus these nuts. Plus hot 4K. Plus coke. Plus seed. Plus good game. Jokes aside though, it's very probable that the vast majority of people would think of those guys when asked the question I just asked. But there is actually one more guy who doesn't even get placed on the list of candidates most of the time. The people who have seen the thumbnail and read the title for this video will have no doubt figured this one out already. But let me formally introduce the subject for today's video, the one and only true champion of the world, Hercule Mark Satan. Now I know what you guys are thinking, did, did this useless ass bozo really just say Hercule Satan? And yeah, I, I sure did. But before all of you get your panties in a bind, please let me explain the context for this video real quick. We all know that in the universe of Dragon Ball with its infinite ass pools, Hercule is weak as hell. But what if we move Hercule to a whole different world? Our world. How strong would Hercule Satan be if he was a martial artist in our world? real life world. In order to properly gouge this, we are going to have to take a look at the physical feats Hercule has achieved during his years of being a martial artist and compare him to the greatest martial artists of our own time. For starters, let's take a quick look at what some of Hercule's greatest feats of physical strengths were and try to find a real life comparison, you know, for yeah. reference. To start off, we can see Hercule ripping a stack of three phone books in half with just his raw strength. Now I can already hear people shouting that that is not very impressive at all, but have you ever tried to rip apart one phone book, let alone three? Or le let me change that challenge real quick. I want you to grab a simple A4 sheet of paper and fold that thing a total of seven times. Well, if you can even fold it that many times to begin with. Ready? Now try ripping that piece of paper in half. Now I am willing to bet my left nut on the fact that you were unable to rip that piece of paper. Meanwhile Hercule just ripped apart three phone books. Now I am aware there is a specific technique that makes this easier, you know, ripping a book. If you use this technique, ripping a phone book in half is made significantly easier. But you know, Hercule, however, did not use this method and just did it with pure strength. The current world record for the thickest phone book ripped in half is held by Mike Martel who ripped a 2300 42 page book in half in under 30 seconds. Obviously there could be people who have beaten this record and simply not recorded it and people who are capable of breaking the record but have simply never tried. But as things currently stand, Hercule holds the record for this display of strength by ripping apart nearly three times the amount of books Mike did. Next up we have Hercule pulling a total of four buses all alone by himself. The average bus nowadays, you know, similar to the one Hercule is pulling, is typically 15,921 kilograms, which is equivalent to 35,100 pounds or approximately 17.5 tons. Hercule pulled four of these buses over a distance of at least 30 meters. This would be him pulling a total of 63,684 kilograms which is equivalent to 140,400 pounds or approximately 70 tons. As far as I am aware, the current world record of the heaviest thing pulled by a single man is held by Kevin Fast for pulling a plane that weighed in at 171,303 kilograms, which is equivalent to 416,299 pounds or approximately 188 tons for over 8 meters. In this contest of strength, Mike has Hercule beaten by a pretty big margin. Another fun thing to just, you know, slide in here real quick is that Kid Goku in the very first episode of Dragon Ball struggles to lift a car with Bulma in it. This basically means that Hercule would just completely destroy this version of Goku with zero effort. But you know, Hercule also hates concrete with a passion, which he proves by slamming his hand through 14 concrete tiles just to show off. Have you ever tried hitting a concrete tile yourself? That shit hurts like all hell. Now, I was not able to find anyone who smashed through more than 14 tiles stacked together, we know without methods that would make it significantly easier. 
there are many records of people breaking X amount of tiles in under a minute, but never 14 of them just in one strike. Hercule just keeps on getting better and better now, doesn't he? For a change of pace, let me ask you another question. How many holes does a bus have? Well, whatever type of research you did to answer this question, like the little elitist you are, you missed one hole. Which hole, you ask? Oh, just the hole Hercule just punched through the fucking bus. Now, I was unable to find anyone else just punching half his arm through the side panel of a bus, so I'm going to give Hercule the W on this one. I touched upon this point in another one of my videos recently, which I will now shamelessly advertise on the screen, but Hercule can move faster than human eye can perceive. This is a feat no person has been able to achieve to the level of Hercule. Hercule himself. Well, considering they are normal humans. Fighters like Bruce Lee, for example, could punch really, really fast, you know, even faster than most people's reaction time, but Hercule can just move his entire body so fast that a human eye cannot make out where he moved to. This is a feat no other known human, at least, has achieved. Taking a look at things more so in the actual Dragon Ball universe, Hercule is probably the tankiest character in the entire show, period. This guy took punches from Android 18 and Kid Trunks and just lived, and he got punched in the face by Kid Buu and Cell smacked this dude face first into a mountain. I can safely say none of our dumbass humans would have been able to survive any of that. He also survived getting blasted in the chest with a gun long enough for Buu to heal him. Many humans would not really survive that long after getting their chest forcibly opened for penetration. Not to mention this guy pissed off mercenary Tao so bad by goofing on his hair that Tao beat him up and killed his master. But the thing is Hercule actually survived a fight with Tao. Tao is an assassin he kills for shackles, but Hercule lived through that fight, which is very impressive. And lastly, this champ kicked Spopovich, a man easily 120 kilos of pure muscle over 10 meters out of the ring. The closest thing I could find was Bruce Lee, you know, knocking people back a couple of meters through his punches, like his little, like, one finger death punch, millimeter punch thingy. But taking into consideration all the previously discussed factors, I am of the opinion that Hercule would would be the strongest overall human in our world. Bruce Lee might be the better technical martial artist and Kevin might be stronger physically, but the balance of Hercule's strength, speed, agility, durability, you know, everything just makes him come out on top for me. Hercule is one of the most amazingly written characters in all of Dragon Ball, but people often call him weak or a coward. But Hercule won the 24th World Tournament fair and square with just his own skills. And to those who call him a coward, do you really think a coward would stand up to Kid Buu of all things to protect his friends? Hercule is not a coward. He is just not strong enough to fight these threats and deep down he does know this. He is also an amazing father, grandfather and friend. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you Hercule for being the best champ we could have ever asked for. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more similar content in the future, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss another video ever again. If you want to support me in another way, I recently set up a channel membership option. It's only 5 bucks a month, but please only spend your money on supporting me if you can actually miss it. Things are expensive enough already as things stand and I don't want people to get monetary issues because they want, you know, they feel they want to support me. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.